Hey, welcome. How are back. you, Coach? Yeah. You know, I decided something. Decided yeah. something on the plane on Sunday night. I don't like living where it hurts to breathe. You know, these these Florida people. These Florida people take for granted what they have every day. Now, granted, they have hurricanes, but let me tell you, they minor, take it for granted. Yes. Minor details. Hurricanes, minor <laughs> details. <laughs> minor. And and the only time, the only way that I would live in Florida is if I was right on the beach. So I would be, you know, I'd be complaining, but my gosh, it was so nice. We had a great time. Yes. Yes, and we're glad to see you, Winston. We are glad to have you yes. on on show. He's so Nick. Winston has started this um, this thing where he looks at me across the room, and he's got this new whistle, and he knows I hate it, and so he will do that, and he'll look at me, and he'll do that, and he'll be like, "Yeah, you forgot something." So. <laughs> I didn't feel so bad because I watch these girls. I watch the chicks on the right every morning. And um, Daisy has a great Dane that she calls in every live that she does. And, you know, at the end, of course, not not the whole show like we do, but she calls in Daisy every time and she does a little ear flap. It's really, really cute. So you do what you got to do. How are you? I'm good. I Did you have a good did you have a good session? I last think, week, last week, I think, I think so. I think I did. Um, but what I did do that we haven't done yet was say, "Hey, without you sharing, liking, and following, oh. we would be zero aware, <laughs> zero aware, zero aware." <laughs> that, that is so true. So that is so true. Would, like, follow, and share, subscribe to whatever platform you're on. That would be super helpful. That way we can break the algorithm wall and be able to share this information out to everyone that needs to hear it because yeah. guess, they don't like to t- uh, our, our topic. They don't really like us in general. So you like us. They don't. They so. don't. When I left politics, you know, you know my political background. When I left politics, I thought, oh, I'm going to leave and I'm going to be out here in the liked world. I won't have any haters. I won't. Because who can get mad at a weight loss coach, right? Everybody. Jeez. Everybody. Wrong. I'm banned on Facebook about every other day because who knows? They make a new rule up every single day. Yes, they do. We're trying to help people. And so, yeah, the algorithm really stinks. Hey, Maggie, it's good to see yes. you. Oh, All right. Is that little girl that? sick? Oh, Aww. that's too bad. That is too bad. Get better. Get yes. better, Lily. It's going around. So, Get your vitamins, yeah. in, y'all. You know oh. what I just did? Mm-hmm. So you know my anti-anxiety formula that I take every single day, yeah. and I literally swear by it now. I tell yeah. you, there's there is some no-brainer. So when you've been in the business around the block like we have, there's like supplements come and go. Yes. We are the great biohackers of yes. our community, yeah. right? <laughs> we don't recommend it to a client unless we take it. Yes. Oh, good. She's she's better today. She's I'm better. So glad. So we don't recommend anything unless we take it. So, you know, we've tried everything under the sun. And, and then we like, okay, that's a little too expensive. We don't, we can get rid of that one. But there are four things that I have in my diet every day. I have L-glutamine. I have ashwagandha. <laughs> I was worried about saying that. Ashwagandha. That's for stress. That's makes, that makes me nice, right? Ashwagandha oh, does. Ashwagandha and then vitamin D3 plus K. So if you have, if you take vitamin D3, you, it, it's no good unless it's activated by, by vitamin K. That's three. What's the fourth one? Magnesium. Mag- <laughs> magnesium. That's the voice several in types of, Several types of magnesium. Um, I take uh, uh, glycinate for my mood so that I'm a happy person. It literally is my anti-anxiety formula. And I think it was worth better than anything I've ever had. Yeah. But why was I telling you that story? Vitamin D. So I take 10,000 milligrams every day, you know, vitamin D plus K. I'm bumping it up this week. We're going to 20,000. And next next week, the, the next week after that, we're going to 30,000. I am determined this year I am not getting seasonal depression. No, no, no winter blues. Oh, 
No winter blues. Oh gosh, Maggie, go get yourself. Go to go to Amazon. Go get yourself some ashwagandha. Oh yeah. my gosh, it's funny. incredible stuff. It's funny. Ashwagandha. ashwagandha. Yeah, it's an incredible herb. Like it's an incredible herb. <laughs> <laughs> It's just, it just takes the edge off. It just takes the edge off of life in general. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, Sherry from Arkansas. It's so good to see you. Yes. Welcome right. to the show. Ashwagandha. Yes. You can go to, go to Amazon. I yeah. think if you go to my page or somehow, if you find me on there, I think it's connected to me somehow. I don't know, but just go get some. Yeah. You said you spelled it right. Absolutely. Ashwagandha. Yep. I think um, I like the dropper the liquid form. I don't know what you use, but I like oh. the, I like Mary Ruth because she uses good ingredients, um, but she also yeah. is a liquid form. So I don't know if it matters. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, my guess would be yes. Yeah. Um, I accidentally chewed my vitamin D. It's in a pill. It's in a, because I thought I was putting an almond in my mouth and I forgot and I picked up my Ooh. vitamin D and I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, on the yeah. topic – this the winter blues d- drives us into what we're kind of going to talk about, right? Absolutely. So yep. We're how, not doing it this year. We're not. No, we're not, not doing it this it. year. So oh. I got confused on if we're talking about a, like an entryway into w- what we talked about last week here on the show is emotional eating and mm-hmm. diving into into what are we talking more about that yeah or- yeah we're gonna leave it there so we're gonna start yeah. there because you ended there and then we're gonna go on to one of the biggest issues that we have so as a weight loss coach we can give you an ingredient list yes. we can give you a meal plan we can you do this 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 and this 100 percent, you're gonna lose weight right? right honestly i don't care about that anymore Nope. Because what I care about is when our clients go into round two with us, when they go into the next three months of, of, of I almost said counseling, <laughs> the next three months of coaching. I'm not a counselor. I do not play one on the internet. Nope. Um, what I care about is, is sustainability. And the fact that you will be doing this next week. We had, we had an amazing group session last night. If you, if you need some extra help and you just need it, like, kind of like an AA group. Yeah. You need that Monday nights. We meet every Monday night. It's um, every other Monday night at 8, 8 p.m. But one of the things that uh, was was happening in our group last night was we had a, a woman with us who had been with us for two years. And she's been become an incredible support for these women who are just starting. I mean, I had a couple of women. I am starting my hormone program tonight. I am so stinking excited. I just finished my PowerPoint for my opening session. You can borrow it, Lars. You can Thanks. you can take it when you do your groups because it's really awesome. It is really I'm getting awesome. your knack, I'm getting your knack for creativity. So my Canva. PowerPoint's awesome. But we had a <laughs> Canva did it for me. <laughs> We had a, a girl last night who's joining this program. She's just starting tonight. So she was able to listen to, you know, the woman who had been with us two years. The woman who had been with us for two years, that's what we're looking for. Yes. Right? Not not necessarily that they're with us for two years because our goal is to to kick you out of the program, right? Our goal is to, to make it so that you don't need us. But right. in order to do that, you have to do what we're going to talk about today. And and that's truly what the heartbeat of this coaching team is, is sustainability. Mm-hmm. You can do anything for 90 days, honestly. Yes. You can yes. do carnivore for 90 days. I guarantee you can't do it for life unless you're like Dr. Barry. He might be the exception there, but there's just no way that you can sustain it. Fasting, you can't sustain that through the holiday season. You can implement it and you can use it. You can, you can implement it and you can use it as a tool, but you're not going to be doing the regular, uh, you know, the regular fasting that you do. So our goal is to teach you how to sustain it. And today's topic is meal planning and prepping. Okay. Which it's my, it's my kryptonite. I do not like, do not like meal prepping. And here's a caveat. Here's a caveat. So I've been, um, I've been a clean eater for seven years now. And I can look at, I can look you in the camera in the eye and I can say, I do not care about fancy food. Right. Honestly, if I have in the kitchen, if I have almonds, if I have eggs, if I have some bacon, if I have some cheese, I'm good. 
because I know the possibilities that are out there. I know what I can do if I really want it. I know what I can do. And so it's it's not even tempting for me. But we know that not everybody's like Coach Monica. Uh, everybody, there, there are a lot of people who are like, I have to have variety. And that's the cool thing about this lifestyle is you can have both. Yeah. You can have the variety and you can have, you can be boring if you want. I find safety. So this new program that I'm t that I'm teaching, and Darcy, you're gonna you're gonna experience it pretty soon. But this last program, I think actually I think you have a couple clients on it. I do. You may, you may a lot of my clients, I kind of switched over because they they've done the yeah. three program with me. Yeah. And we're just ready for this next step. Let's do the hormones. Yep. Let's fix the hormones, right? Yep. So what I'm finding on my on my client side is people when they get to that last two weeks of the hormone feed, they hate it. Yeah. You know, we're going to teach you in this program how to eat potatoes, how to eat the complex carbs, when to eat them, because our bodies as females are made completely different and we need them at different times. We need to, uh, if you're building progesterone, you need glucose, right? Uh, not talking cookies, but you need <laughs> glucose, right? But my clients are like, they get to the end of that two weeks and they're like, oh my gosh, give me keto back. They are just desperate. In fact, some of them can't even make it the two weeks um, because- your body feels different. Your body feels so good. So, um, so anyway, meal planning and, and prepping. Do you want to kick us off with say what? Is, what is your tips? And you don't have to go off of our notes completely. So, when when you say when I when I throw the word meal planning and prepping at you, like just off your cuff, what do you think about when I say Darcy, meal planning and prepping? What what's on your mind? Well, sorry, that was, that was off script. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I'm trying to think where I should, where, what I should be thinking about when it's meal planning and prepping. I think it's important that when you are first starting off for sure. Um, and then when you are also in a different season from when you first started off, each season comes differently. So you're going to need to plan differently. So your macros are going to change at some point in time, um, after you've started, they're going to change. So you're going to have to then reshake things up, which then means you need to start pre-planning again. Um, if you've gotten used to what you were eating beforehand, um, but meal planning, it means, you know, organizing, taking away dirt, certain things that you like, because we can give, this is why we don't like necessarily having the meal plans because we can give you a meal plan for five days or seven days. And you're like, you only like one, one day out of all of those days that we gave you. So we try to fit the ideas for your tasting. And so you're the only one that really knows that. Um, so you're going to take those things that you prefer to eat. Like if you're more of a chicken eater or a steak eater, things like that, you're going to think of that. So when I, when I say meal planning and prepping, you need to first, and this goes off with even going out to eat when you're going out to eat. You need to think of what proteins I, I'm going to need to have in order to fit my macros, in order to get my proteins in for the day. What do I need to have to start there, right? Um, What's the minimum thing? That's, a, that's what I think of is what is the minimum thing? If, if like I was in a snowstorm this week, what is the minimum thing that I need in my fridge to get me through that week? Oh, we're in, right? we're in snowstorm weather. No, we're not going there. But that's just that's just what I'm there. thinking of. When, like, what is the minimum amount of things that I need to have in my cupboard? Meat, proteins. Then you got to cook it, right? Well, that, that's you, another. That's another look at things um, because once you have the the formula for what you want to eat, that's when you need to decide how much of it you're going to need. Um, I like to have a backup. I like to have like the fresh foods that I'm going to eat and make for the week. And then I like to have mm -hmm. a backup just in case there's a snowstorm or a fall advisory because the leaves are falling all at once. <laughs> fall advisory. <laughs> yeah. You can, or in case your husband gets picky one day and it's like, I am not wanting to eat that again. Exactly. So you're going to want to have a stock of things that last on the shelves for a longer period of time that may not be the best choices, but you have that in order to prevent yourself from eating the other junk food that you would typically like 
when pe- when the snowstorm or the fall storm hits, you're going to have people rush into the store to get the bread, milk, and maybe even butter, I think is in there. And then the mm-hmm. chips and then all the, all the, all the other garbage that is shelf stable. Well, you can get, you know, chicken in a bag that there is a, a bag, a, a natural valley, I think nature valley or natural valley. I don't know what uh-huh. chicken that is, but it doesn't Make have sure it's not derivatives gr- in it. Make sure it's not grown in the stupid lab. Or gr- lab oh, grown, yeah. Anyway, but you have that and then tuna, things like that to keep in your shell on your shelves at all times. And then when your stock starts to get low, you know when you go to that grocery store that you need to restock. And if you ran out sooner than later, then you need to, to double that amount of things. And then also when you are busy, we're gonna not just a fall advisory or winter advisory. But if you have mm-hmm. baseball games and basketball games now, this that's the season you're constantly at these kids' games. You will need to gra- like have a quick and easy meal to go to. So mm-hmm. making sure that maybe ahead of time, this is where you pre-think and pre-plan. Maybe we're going to have tacos today, so I'm going to make a big batch of taco meat, and then we're going to eat on this for the week, or I'm going to mm-hmm. save this and freeze it for later. So there's so many options that you yeah. can that's called it. that's called batch cooking absolutely batch, and that enters into what you have go ahead yeah yeah no no you were you're right on it's it's the batch cooking I've, and mostly i do that with meats i don't know there's a lot of people who do salad i have a lot of girlfriends on facebook who do those pre-jar salads which sounds uh-huh. like that would be so fun to be in that club i'm not in that club they wouldn't allow me in that club but there's a lot of people who um, who, you know, do the, um, the slicing of the peppers, the slicing of the onions. And for me, and maybe you have a trick to this, but for me, it like kind of gets slimy by the end of the week. So I, I tend to do that, but I know that there's a way it's probably in the ball jars. I, I bet you. What do you tell it's layered? I don't know. I don't do that. I'm yeah. not in the ball jar club either. Yeah. Yeah, I'm more of the batch cooker when it comes to the meats. Like, yeah. I'm going to cook a ton of meat. Like, uh, somebody, no names. I, I hate I hate this software. Sometimes I don't see who's talking to us. But taco meat can also be used as a base. So yes. think about, you know, yeah. when you're looking at your protein, okay, this is my protein. How can I, how are three, di- three different ways that I could cook this? And then freeze them separately in, um, you know, in Ziploc bags. Lay them flat on the freezer so it's, and then just remember to pull it out that morning. That's one of my problems is I always get busy and I forget to pull it out. I'm like, now I got a thought. Yeah. Um, so and yeah, like- Sunday night. Yep. Just cook up a batch. There's, there's, when I have a turkey, when I see a turkey on sale, you know, for like 50 cents a pound, I will buy a whole turkey and I'll just cook it randomly in the summer and then I freeze that meat. So right. That is so easy just to pull out of the freezer. Mason jars, oh, just add so dressing bad. on the bottom. That makes sense. Flip before eating. I I need to try that. Well, we're well, gonna. I heard um, strawberries doing... too. Strawberries can be put in a mason jar and they last for Ooh. weeks in there. So, oh yeah, I have taco I have, meat. We yeah. uh we need to just try these things. But for me, I'm I so good at being able to maybe pre pull out some like ground beef. Like Silas will say, hey, mm-hmm. I want some tacos tonight because that's a great go to yeah. meal. Um, yeah for everybody. And I'll pull out the uh, ground beef and it's a super quick, fast, you know, prep, like real quick, you get done in like 15 yeah. minutes. Um, so, and, and a lot of people would say, well, Darcy, you're keto. You can't have tacos. Um, how do you do tacos? I do. Oh, for me, what do you do? So, yeah. What do you do? Tacos, there's so many different ways to have tacos. Um, so you can do your basic where you just chop up a bunch of, um, romaine lettuce and do a taco salad. Um, Mm -hmm. I like to go against that because I don't necessarily like to eat salads all the time. Um, I -hmm. will make myself a crispy cheese taco shell and not necessarily add any cheese to the top, but my cheese is my Mm -hmm. taco shell. Um, I love that one. Like, I like to utilize these on the days for my hormonal feasting days that we talk about and for ageless keto. I like to use the, um, the, the Siete almond flour tortilla shell. Yes. I am just um, loving those. Those have the cassava flour. So they're higher in carbs. Mm -hmm. So that would be a choice for your higher carb days. Mm -hmm. But also you have the egg life wraps, which aren't my favorite, but you can still use those. There's so many options for tacos. Um, mm-hmm. that yeah. So 
It just depends on the mood. Sometimes, like, I'm like, man, a cheese shelled taco would be just wonderful. Yeah. And I love ground turkey, too. Oh, yeah. Um, there's a misnomer that those those of us who live a keto lifestyle, um, you know, it's not fatty enough. You know, I love ground turkey. There are days that I need lower fats because I'm raising my carbs for my ladies and my hormone program. There's days that we're going to be raising those carbs to 100 and you're going to have to lower your fats. That is a great way to do it. We don't get rid of the protein. We have got to keep the protein. That was a side note there. It was a, a I want to add on to that. I had this, mm -hmm. I was listening to a podcast and they, and they were talking about the meats that we choose to eat. And it just like, I'm like, why didn't I think of that? Like when some, when the hunter is hunting, they, they hunt their animal, right? And then they eat all of the meats of the animal uh -huh. that, that uh -huh. the animal produces. So they're not just eating steak. They're not just eating the ground part well, or the beef part or the leg or whatever uh -huh. parts. They're eating the whole. And so they cycle the different types of meats that they ate. So yeah. I'm like, well, well, well yeah, yeah, they, they don't. Totally eat. cool. <laughs> They don't just yeah. eat guys. <laughs> so, hey, guys, we got, we have, we don't got, we have an unbelievable giveaway today. So we do not judge us, okay, because this is encapsulating the entire holiday season. So many of us freak out. Darcy judged me a little bit, although she's the one that made the video well, with listen, the Christmas music. People right? are putting up Christmas now, so we're just, we're just pushing that. That for them, you know that. But the Thanksgiving is coming. And what we challenged our group last night was, don't wait until Thanksgiving to try a fancy, healthy, you know, side dish. Don't wait till then. Hey, right. stop it. He's Do it now. Yes. He's agreeing with me. Do it now. So yeah. we are giving away a free holiday cookbook, all right? And it's downloadable. It's going to come straight to your email. So make sure that you have your camera out because we're going to give you a link at, at the end of this video here so where you can go download our free keto book and, and uh, holiday cookbook. And this is one that this is one that we've all used. We haven't just like gone to chat GPT. We have actually used these and actually made them. So uh, these are some of our some of our faves. So uh, we'll be back in about uh, about 40 seconds here to talk about um how to break the emotional eating at the holiday season and how to how to uh, combine that with your meal prep. All right. Judge me because they're they are gonna say, well, that's not keto, but yeah, you can make that keto. That's right. That's right. We were talking in group last night how to convert peanut butter brittle into keto. So yeah, you can convert anything but popcorn. So, so there's that. So if you missed the QR code, if you go up into actually, it's not up there yet. Um, I hope you got the QR code. We'll be back next week with a, with another QR code. But normally it'd be at our it'd be at our QR code above us here. So yes. Um, by the way. If you are like, gosh, I need help, go to that QR code, go to our website, kmhealthcoaching.org, and schedule a time with Coach Darcy or myself. Uh, Coach Kathy's getting ready to launch her coaching career here in a few uh, weeks, and she's she does the therapeutic keto, so we're really, really excited about what Kathy's going to bring to the table. But one of the passions that we have is we're going to kind of morph just a little bit into the holiday we're going to kind of touch on the ending of what you touched on last week and we're going to do this every week because this is the most important time a lot of people say i'm going to get a coach in january i'm going to lose weight in january because i know that the holiday season's going to be rough i know that grandma's pie is going to be a thanksgiving i know that i'm going to fail they set themselves up for failure before they even start. And our side of this is, this is the time to get a coach. This is the time. I lost I lost 20 pounds from 
uh, November to January when I lost my 120 pounds. And so it's possible for you to lose weight throughout the season, but our passion is we don't only want you to lose weight, we want you to enjoy. We want you to become a keto chameleon or a health chameleon so that you walk into a, a party, nobody knows what you're doing, but you're on point and you're doing the things correctly. And so the holiday season, it's just a misnomer that I'll start in January. That's the bad time to start because right. number one, all the health coaches are busy right? Yep. You're not, um, you're, you're just kind of like, they're wanting to sell everything to you at that point. Why not learn how to do it right in real life? Real life is where it's at. Yes. You know, Darcy, you have young kids still. Yeah. Like your life is at the ballpark. That's real life. You need to know what to do then, right? Mm -hmm. What else are you, what else are you guys up to these days? Ballparks probably closed. Well, ballpark, um, it's school events. You know, I know a lot of students that are are doing the basketball. Well, that would be the sports, but you know the the, the workouts. Like you're the kids that don't know how to drive yet. You're driving them to their their try their, their workout or their what are those practice stuff? Um, Practices. You know, yeah, we're into mobile and robotics, and that just takes up a lot of time. We uh, as well as then we're trying to still have family time, still be able to go and work out mm -hmm. together, still doing all these things that are constantly busy and, you know, on top of the things that we're volunteering for. So we are constantly out yeah. of the house, constantly doing things. And it just, it's overwhelming. And that's not going to stop even through the holidays. It's probably going to be a little bit no. worse because then we're going to have Christmas specials that we're going to have to go to right. plays and all sorts of things. So it's yeah. not, the chaos never goes away. It's always no. there. It's the only thing consistent in life is chaos yeah. Yeah. And, and stress. Yeah. And if you don't learn how to do this the right way, you're, you're just doing um, you're just doing a diet. And yeah. we know how diets work. Diets are just it's just like a hamster wheel just right. around and around and around. And and so um, it it's best if you take a coach's hand through. I love this new women's group. And I will let if there are people who did not get in the hormone uh, group i we're starting today so you're just about four hours behind uh, but i will let those people if it's if they request to be in the group before i start i will not let anybody in after we start that first meeting tonight is going to be intense it's going to be really really important that you're there um but that's a really cool thing about that group is and i didn't think about it when i priced it because i'm like these people are gonna have a coach through january they're going to have a coach through the holiday season <laughs> and I priced this thing really little. So, so when you do it, Darcy, don't do what I did, <laughs> but that is so important. That's so important that you have a coach during this time. Yes. Right. Yeah. Don't, don't start the gym in January. You have no room for yourself there. Start now when yeah. nobody's there because everybody's thinking I'm going to get fat for the holidays. And yay. And it's a joke now. I'm just going to gain weight during the holiday yeah. season when you don't have to. Right. So give, you, give our listeners one tip that you can think of, their top tip of, as you're thinking about going to our next big event, which is probably maybe Thanksgiving, right? Yep. Oh, you, you guys do Halloween over at your house. You, do you, does that tempt you at all? No. <laughs> no? No. Not anymore. Right, was that sarcastic? No? <laughs> Before I did start, I will, I will add this because... When my kids first trick or treated, I trick or treated for myself because they were too little to have candy. <laughs> so, so you took one, one for them. Yes, five for you. Well, no, I would not give them as because they were too little for candy. So then, you know, mm -hmm. when you when you're trick or treating with little ones, yeah, you are. You find yourself you're the ones eating that. Like uh -huh. you're the one. You adults are the ones going to mm -hmm. finish that bucket, and that's what I did. And mm -hmm. it wasn't just one; it was almost the whole bucket. Yeah. Yeah. And binge eat while I watched a show while my kids were asleep and I'd eat their Halloween candy. Yep. But no yep. more. Like I do out of sight, yep. out of mind. I have the I have the candy in my house because it's not fair for my kids necessarily. Depending on who you are, like I'm not gonna rip the candy out of their hand. And you know, I have it in it's a not tempting for you anymore. No, I, I out of sight, out of mind and put it in a different mm -hmm. show where I don't see it. So and, yeah. and, and anymore, yeah. like, even if it was out, I would not be tempted by it. But mm -hmm. before yeah. I started, it's in a bucket mm -hmm. under a cupboard and yeah. I look at it. It's not there. So mm -hmm. that's, that's, yeah. so I, when we're, when we're thinking about Thanksgiving, yes, 
what is what is the thing that's on your mind now? What are you most preparing for right now? Because you and I don't go off plan. No. I mean, we, we no. live what we teach. Yes. And so uh, what is the thing that you're doing to prepare for that season right now? So with with Thanksgiving, since we, we alternate usually families, we, we have a bigger family event with our family and then a smaller one. Um, the smaller one I don't ever really, really worry about, but I just make sure that the bigger family events that we go to, that I bring things that I know that I will be content with. If there's nothing else in that um, building for me that I, that it doesn't have a whole bunch of sugar or doesn't have a whole bunch of um, things that I don't typically eat, then I will bring stuff for myself, but I will bring enough for everybody else to share too. So if it's like a main course, yeah. I know that there's going to be Turkey there. If it's covered in sugar, cause people cook their turkeys in sugar and, and braise it with this stuff. And ham. And ham, ham is bad. No, mm-hmm. you think of the 80, 20 where I know, I know that if I am eating the inner, inner part of that meat, most likely mm-hmm. some of that sugar absorbed into it, but it's not enough. Yeah. So it's that 80, 20. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's Don't what, let the perfection get in the way of progress, right? Nope. So I'm thinking yeah. of the protein and then I bring stuff for myself and I will bring myself yeah. a special treat. I will have it planned out that I will make those eclairs that coach Monica loves, mm-hmm. even though it's a lot of yep. work. I will bring them because I know that is something that she enjoys and I yeah. enjoy. And that is a special treat to me. I don't make it hardly right. any other time except for a special mm-hmm. occasion. Yeah. And we lo- we are very, very lucky because in our family, there's 11 of us who are keto. And so for us, it's very, very simple. We understand that for the majority, it's not. And so what we want you to do is we want you to be so undercover. You know, it, for example, here's a way you can be undercover. In the, in the cookbook that you just downloaded, there should be a, um, a scalp potato keto style in there. So uh, a lot of times uh, they love me to bring the scalloped potatoes, right? Those little hash browny things with the cream cheese and stuff. And they want me to bring that. And I never say no. I never say, oh, I'm sorry. I don't eat that way. Never. You know, I put on my nice, my nice face. And I say, absolutely. And you know what I do then? I bring my keto version of the same thing. And what yeah. we found a couple Thanksgivings ago was the keto version because that's made with the cheeses, the cream cheese, the butters, all of those rich foods. Because it's, because it's so yummy, our stuff goes first. But I bring what they asked me to bring and then I ketoize it for myself. So I want to make myself look as much like everybody else as possible. Yeah. So I that, want you to start thinking about, oh, sorry, go, go ahead. Say, you know that green bean casserole that people just use the can of, of cream of mushroom soup and they mix that together. When we make yeah. ours, it is from scratch. Like you get yeah. the full, like the cream, the cream cheese, like all that stuff in mm. this batch of green bean casserole and the, with the wisp crisps on the top. Uh-huh. No. Yeah. Or pork rinds. Yeah. Or pork rinds. Like Some people don't like pork rinds. So I'm really careful is if I'm bringing, I love them because I fry them or make them all crispy yeah. or bake them. Yeah. But the cheese crisps <laughs> is another way to do that. Baked or not baked. Uh, the crumbled bacon on the top. Of you. Ooh, oh my okay. gosh. Make- <laughs> I'm hungry. Oh, anyway. the key is guys, if you downloaded, if you downloaded that, um, that recipe guide, um, make sure and, and feel free to reach out to us. We can, we can uh, get you signed up for that copy, but make sure you practice before you go. I'm the queen of ruining something in the kitchen. Some people can follow a recipe book. They'll just be fine. Practice before you go. The other thing I do is I prepare. I am in the gym now. Uh, it's October 24th. Darcy, it was so hard to get up this morning and go to the gym. Barbara, if you are still on here, you are my hero. She goes to the same place I go. And it is not for the – well, you know, Darcy, because you went with me that one day. It's not for the faint of heart. (laughs) I got up at 5.30. But I got up at 5.30 today proactively for Thanksgiving because I know if I'm out of the routine of things, when Thanksgiving comes, it's a free fall. It's a 20 – 20 pound sugar binge for me. If I'm not right now preparing myself and preparing my mindset to live a healthy lifestyle. Yes. So we did kind of a mishmash um, of, of topics uh, today, but they kind of all go together because yeah. all of this, we're all going to face it. 
But if you are struggling, if you are like, gosh, I just am tired of doing this alone. I'm tired of the diet circle. I'm tired of eating cardboard. I'm tired of, of failing and then winning and then failing again. Reach out to Coach Darcy or myself up there at the live QR code. Um, you will find both of our links. Um, schedule a call. Find out first what the programs are before you sign up. I like to talk to people before they sign up. Um, if you know what program you want, absolutely sign up. No problem there. But I prefer to talk to you first, just in case, um, because we have several. We've got the hormone program. We have, um, I, I am, um, um, I specialize in food addiction. So I've got an entire food addiction treatment program. There's a lot of different choices and we don't want you in the wrong program. What we do want you is we want you connected with a coach and we want you connected with other people who are going through the same thing. I get so much life on Mondays from our group yeah. uh, weight loss support. I get life and I'm the coach and you're the coach, right? It's yeah. just amazing. So. Yeah. All right, so we are here every Tuesday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern time. And is there any final words you have, Dars? No, I, I, the only thing I would say is out of everything, don't get discouraged. Don't try to depend on celery to lose the weight and get healthy. It comes from so many other areas than just uh, you know a supplement to fix all the problems or a shot to fix all the problems. Um, yeah. Coming down with investing in the future you is the most important thing. Um, so why not invest in to uh, this long knowledge of I know how mm -hmm. to have like a, I have a safety net now. Like I know where I can go. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. anyway, that's what I have. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome, guys. It's so good to see you. Let us know if you have any questions. Reach out to us. Schedule a, an appointment with us. We'd be happy to help you. But we will see you again next Tuesday morning at... 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, guys, you take care.